Hello and welcome to All in One SEO. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add recipe schema markup in WordPress. All in One SEO is the best WordPress SEO plugin that allows you to easily optimize your WordPress website for search engines and social media platforms. If you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So the first thing you want to do is open up your WordPress dashboard and we want to make sure that All in One SEO is installed. You can use the timestamps in the description if you'd like to skip ahead. In this video, I'm going to be using the Pro license. So you can click the green button here to grab a license for all in one and then we're going to click on the login button on the left hand side you can enter your email address and password that you used to sign up with and let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab and click on the green download button to start downloading all in one seo on the bottom left hand side here we have the license key you can copy this by clicking the little icon and we can close this window next let's go over to plugins and add new and upload plugin we can actually just drag this zip file right here or you can choose the file from your hard drive by clicking here. Let's go ahead and install now and go ahead and click on activate plugin. All in one will run you through a setup wizard. I'm going to skip this for now, but you can go ahead and do that if you like. Next, we need to add the license key and we can just paste that right here and click connect. And you should see a check mark if everything was successful. If you have this tab on the bottom of your browser like I do, you can close that now. And now what we want to do is head over to search appearance here on the left hand side. Next, let's go under content types and right here we'll see schema markup. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now we have options for our posts and our pages here. So the first thing we want to select is the schema type. So what will be the default schema type for all of our posts? So for example, if we're doing recipes, we'll click recipe and same thing with our pages. We can come down under schema markup and by default, we want to select the schema type which could be course, product, recipe, software application. We're going to do recipe as well, if that's what you're going to be using your pages for. Then go ahead and save changes. So now when we go to add a new post or a new page, let's go ahead and add new. And I'll just open that in a new window. If we scroll down, we can select schema. So you'll see your all-in-one SEO settings, and this is at the bottom of your post. So this is a new post. I haven't added a title or any content yet, but now you'll see that the default schema type is set to recipe. And then you can go ahead and set your name, the description, the author, the image, which would be a nice picture probably of your recipe or your dish, the dish type, the cuisine type, the time required for prep time and cooking, the amount of servings, calories, ingredients, instructions. So you can add different steps here if you want to add a step two, step three, etc., or delete these if you need to. The rating that this has, the amount of ratings, and of course the keywords. So if we created a new post, we would enter all the data and then you could save this as a draft or you could publish it and put that live. Now, by doing it this way, this sets it site-wide for all of your posts and pages, but maybe you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to set post site back to article and pages back to web page. And then let's look at how to set a recipe schema for individual posts or pages. It works the same way. So under posts, all posts, I created a little test post here called apple pie recipe. So we can click on this one. So we have the title apple pie recipe. We just have some fake text in here and then I added an image and that's it. So if we come back down to the bottom, it's the same idea. We can click on schema for this specific post and on the bottom now it's just the default set to article so maybe not all of your posts on your website will be recipes so you can just simply come down here and change this to something different if that is required so we can click on recipe and then you'll see again all of those same options and details for this recipe that google is going to love you for so go ahead and fill all of this information out for your recipe. And then again, you could update this if it's an existing recipe that's on your website, or it's the same thing if you wanna click add new, put in your title, your information and your recipe. Under schema, it's the same type of idea, just switch to this to recipe, put your information in. You can save it as a draft, schedule it, or publish it live if you like. So when I search for apple pie in Google, here are a few examples of what I get for rich snippets, which is what Google will get from your recipe schema. Now, just because you add the schema, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get listed here. There will still be some competition depending on how competitive it is, but this definitely sets you up for a greater success. Now that you know how to add recipe schema markup in WordPress, check out this video on the ultimate guide to setting up all-in-one SEO. This video is great for making sure you have everything set up correctly and that you are well on your way to excellent SEO results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.